Well, the purpose of the Back in the Race operational plan is to finalize the turnaround of the company from an economics viewpoint, and we'll be able to measure that by uh, checking that before 2016, by 2016 at the latest, our free cash flow will be positive. And after we cross that milestone on the next three years, we'll accumulate 2 billion euros of positive cash flow, meaning in 16, 17, 18, we'll have 2 billion euros of positive free cash flow. From that point in time on, we'll be positive in our operating profit margin, and that will define the moment from which the turnaround will be finalized. The back in the race plan objectives are fourfold. First, we want to make sure that we establish a three brand portfolio with the Peugeot brand, the Citroën brand, and the premium DS brand. All of these brands can operate anywhere in the world. Secondly, we want to focus the creative energy of the company on a more limited number of products, completely aligned with the expectations of the markets in which we operate. Third, we want to make sure that we ensure a profitable growth everywhere in the world, taking uh, the example and the reference of what we have successfully done in China and making sure that everywhere in the world we can implement the same success. And fourth, we want to modernize our company, make sure that we have a higher efficiency at the core of the company and that we make sure that our manufacturing efficiency in Europe and namely in France is increased. We are going to redefy our product plan with one single idea in mind, is to make sure that we focus all the creative power of our teams on a more limited number of products that people want to buy. The idea is that if you have less cars, you'll do a better job, the cars will be more competitive compared to the competitors. Hence, we are going to reduce the total number of cars we have in our range progressively from 45 down to 26. And by doing this, we'll have more competitive and more attractive products. To ensure a profitable growth overseas, we can, as a starter, take the reference of our success in China. As you know, in the last uh, few years, we have uh, seen significant growth, a profitable growth, and we intend to accelerate uh, this growth for the future. And all the best practices we have been implementing in China can be used somewhere else. And this is what we intend to do, mainly where we are facing some difficulties, like Russia and uh, Latin America, but also those basics can also be implemented everywhere in the world to catch new opportunities like, for instance, uh, Southeast Asia, where we can operate with our partner Dongfang. Africa and Middle East are some other opportunities that we can tackle. We have great strength uh, by PSA and I would like to start with the fact that we are a company that knows how to engineer great cars. From an engineering perspective, from a design perspective, from a manufacturing perspective, uh, we know how to make great automobiles. And one evidence of this strength is the fact that the Peugeot 308 has been awarded Car of the Year 2014 in the recent Geneva Motor Show. The second point I would like to highlight is the fact that from a quality perspective, from a durability perspective, from a fit and finish perspective, uh, our products are at a very high level, possibly one of the best levels of the industry, and therefore, of course, we consider this is a very important strength for our consumers who are, as we all know, very demanding on this field. The third factor, which is also paramount, is the talent of our people. Individual talent in this company is very high. PSA has great people, great engineers, great designers, great sales and marketing people, and therefore, if we are able, as a leadership team, to bring all of this talent in the same direction, I am sure that the results, the collective results of the company would be much better than what they have been in the past. Last but not least, we also have opportunities. We also know that we can modernize our uh, European operations and mainly the manufacturing operations to make sure that our people can achieve even better results with a more modern uh, manufacturing equipment, with more modern layouts in our plants, and we intend to do so to give them the possibility to express on the manufacturing field also their talent. So you see lots of things that we can do and lots of potential in our company.